KSBW Weather with Jim Vanderswan. All right, you had your summer weather, nice and hot in the valleys, great on the beaches, and now it's work week. We kind of put the fog and natural air conditioning back into the mix here. Low clouds well in the valleys this morning, cleared off, and we ended up with cooler temperatures as we predicted last night. Instead of 80s and 90s, 79 in Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond, 77 in the Scotts Valley, 76 in Santa Cruz, a little cooler in Watsonville. Nights still warm, mostly upper 50s to low 60s, and only 6 degrees between the low and the high in Marina. Pretty darn close to that. Pacific Grove and Seaside, Monterey, and Carmel only 64 today, 74 though in Big Sur. In the Salinas Valley, got 73 out of Salinas and then up to about 79 in King City where there were 90s over the weekend. So it's backed off just in time to get some work weeks done. Even Morgan Hill, 86. That's the warmest place today. 77 in San Jose, nice 75 in Hollister. Just enough cool air making it into the Delta around the Sacramento. It's 89 there, but north and south, it is still hot and will be for a while. 108 Palm Springs, got 79 in LAX, so eh, we're still looking pretty close to normal there while it's cooling off in our valley. 68 in Seattle, and still warm in Boise, Salt Lake, Denver, 97 in Dallas, 93 New Orleans, 80s up around the northern tier, 93 in hot and muggy in New York. Enough uh, relative humidity mixed in there to make those thunderstorms in the heat of the day. Cold front moving through. It's not looking like a classic winter scenario, but it's enough to get what, what little water vapor is there and convert it in those cumulonimbus clouds, and that means some problems. Those thunderstorms bring much needed rain here. Severe weather, mostly wind and hail in parts of uh, the New England states, New York and Pennsylvania, primarily under a watch. So far, nothing too serious, though. But it'll stay busy overnight there. Scattered showers in the southeast. An upper level low pressure trough moving in, but it's tracking right along the Canadian border, and that's where the moisture is right now. Long way away from us. A little bit more monsoon moisture working over the Sierra Madre. You might see a little action coming into the desert again. Got a weak upper level low here. Water vapor satellite picks that up. Dry skies over us. And then the leading edge of this very weak cold front. It doesn't even have much clouds. That would show up in white. This light gray is just the water vapor. And that's all that's there. And according to our future cast model, that trough's just going to kind of hang back. Even though the system moves to Canada, you get this weak upper level troughing, which means the air is moving upward a little bit. And that, well, so will our marine layer. It'll stay right about that level where it's sometimes hard to get the sun underneath it to warm it up. It'll fill the valleys. It'll linger probably over the north end of the bay most of the day for the next couple of days. Sea breeze in the afternoon, not terribly strong, but enough to keep that cool air moving through. So for the work week, this turns out to be perfect. It's really pretty comfortable stuff. Upper 60s, 70s will do it for most of the Bay Area. And again, we'll stay with the mild nights. Sea surface temperatures in the Bay and along the coast there. Still a little warmer. We haven't had a real strong onshore push, so not a lot of upwelling. 70s and 80s will do it in the Santa Clara Valley and Salinas, which will definitely feel more like a coastal area, what with the low clouds lingering longer, 70 degrees after a low of 60. But you'll be in the low to mid 80s around Greenfield, King City, maybe some mid to upper 80s south of there. Around the Monterey Peninsula, mid 60s will do the trick, so if you like today, you'll love tomorrow. And maybe 76 in Carmel Valley, get a little bit of sun there a little sooner, and probably upper 70s in the Santa Cruz Mountains and low 70s along the beaches. So find something you like there, and you, you'll be just fine. Fair, low clouds already around the bay. That'll move inland overnight, fill everybody up with gray, and it's high enough to even get into the mountains there, but should burn off quick enough to make way for plenty of sunshine late morning to afternoon. 70s and 80s for the mountains and the valleys, and along the coast about 10 degrees cooler. Could be a little misty drizzle in the morning in a few spots there, and then we'll back it off and call it partly cloudy with parts of the bay getting sun. Others sitting under the gray there, particularly around the south end of the bay. But it may push north because a little bit of a south, uh, south wind there for a while in the morning. So just be ready for it. Temperatures staying very even across the board, bumping up just a little bit Saturday and Sunday, maybe a little bit more Monday and Tuesday. And there's a hint we may see a stronger high pressure ridge next week, which means warmer again. But for now, yeah, comfortable. 60s, 70s by the sea with a little bit of that gray, but also some blue. If you move around, you'll find something you like. So yeah. there we go. It's a good way to get an ease into a new month here. All right. Sounds like good. It? Okay.